Hey, Buccaneers kicked off training camp this morning as they prepare for another potential Super Bowl run. Our sports anchor Kyle Berger shows us how the team looked on day one. Expectations for the Buccaneers are sky high for a third straight season following back to back playoff appearances, an NFC South title, and a Super Bowl victory back in 2020. Tom Brady is back in the mix after a short lived retirement, but he's without tight end Rob Gronkowski and offensive lineman Ali Marpet, who both did retire. First year head coach Todd Bowles is pleased with what he saw on day one. I had a recall from minicamp and OTA, so that was good. Uh, we were fast. We got to be smarter. Obviously, it's the first day, but very pleased with everything. The Bucks made some splashy moves in the offseason and even this morning with the signings of tight end Kyle Rudolph and wide receiver Julio Jones, both veteran players looking to win their first championship. So for me at this point, you know, in my career and, and what I was looking for in terms of a team and organization, uh, everything's about winning. Uh, the only thing I haven't done to this point is win a championship, and that's all I want to do. Just being with a you know Hall of Fame quarterback, great quarterback, the coaching staff here um, is next door. I'm from Alabama. I went to played in Georgia, right? So it's like it's right here. My family can come see me. Uh, I'm not going out the way. Coming up at six o'clock, much more on Julio Jones. He's made a living at beating the Bucks. Now he's helping the Buccaneers win a Super Bowl. In Tampa, Kyle Berger, ABC Action News.